Hey, this is Aaron Carson. And Marie DeHoffer. And today we're gonna to do Rennie's absolute favorite thing, a little bit of upper body. <laughs> the first thing we're gonna do is a, is a full body back exercise. So she's gonna start with a, an Olympic bar and she's gonna do a straight leg deadlift. And the, good, the nice thing about this is, again, it's a very safe exercise when done well. And uh, if somebody has good posture and a good hip hinge, it's, it's a very uh, accessible way to add a lot of load to the athlete. So Rini and I have been doing a double leg RDL pretty much from the beginning. So go ahead and grab the bar. We're just gonna do about five reps here. Nice, strong grip. First thing we'll do is really set a really strong postural position. So she's gonna get into that podium position, big chest, and she's just gonna tip lightly to her knees and we're looking to load hamstring. Good, and then just come back up nice and strong. And we're keeping the load nice and light. Two, good, and we're just gonna do five of them. Three, and you can see how nicely her hips moving to the back. She's got a good hip hinge. Four, and five. Okay, so Rini, let's just progress this into a, um, throwing this out, you had a curveball here, into a row. So you're gonna, it's, it's called a dead row. She's gonna take that down and just pull it into her belly and straight back up. And she'll do five reps here, two. So we've got a lot of tension here in the hips, but a lot of good motion up here in her upper back. And just one more, and then we'll have you rack it, good. So we went from an RDL right into a dead row. And that dead row, think about it, it really does make sense because we want our athletes to be comfortable and strong in this position. And when your upper back is feeling strong, yeah. it's probably a lot easier to lay an arrow. Yeah, or five downs, give a thing. Yeah, while well, your legs are working like heck. So that's it, we call that a, a pull exercise. And then we're gonna put Rini into a, a push exercise, good? And so from here, you know, obviously we can put her on a bench. That would be a very traditional way to do a bench press. But with Rini, and you get, I like to tap the athlete. It just, this is a little bit of what we call perturbation, just a way to turn the, the core on and make her feel a little bit more secure in that position. And then I usually will hand her that, those, those weights. The goal here is that she holds this, these hips nice and strong, but she's still gonna do just a very traditional kind of bench press. We don't do a lot of pushing, but it's important to be strong through the shoulder. So just go one more in. We're gonna take that right into alternating arms. So take it up, both of them. There you go. And again, strong here with the hamstrings, st strong with the glutes. We don't do a lot of pushing because traditionally this area of the body is pretty tight. So we wanna open that area up more than anything. So pushing exercises, we do them, but it, to a percentage probably 70-30, 70% pull, 30% push. But we do push, just not a lot. Okay, so we're gonna go into one more pull. So we come on over to the machine here. If you don't have a big fancy machine like this and you just wanna be able to do some pulling, I'll have Rini do this first. You can put a long band like this, you can buy them on Amazon, put it over the top of a door, and Rini's gonna do exactly that exercise. We use a half kneeling position. She keeps a nice, big, strong posture, thumbs up. Hand position, remember, hand position, that's telling me she's closed or internally rotated. So we're gonna go ahead and take her thumbs up and we might even take her all the way up, palms up. So let's go palms up on that. When we go palms up, shoulder blades go down. And that's just a safer, better posture position. Good, so that's how you would do it with a band. And then if you have a nice fancy machine, go ahead and grab both handles. Pay attention to that hand position, Rennie. It's a little bit heavier, just five reps. Big posture, good. Nice. And we're gonna do that same pattern, double arm, one more, into alternating arm. And when she does her alternating arm, she's gonna rotate just a little bit, good. One, one, two, and just go one more. Good. So this is a little bit of an upper body circuit that we might do uh, throughout the entire year. Typically with Rini, we're get, she's super strong. We want to keep her either as strong as she is. We want maybe maybe add a little bit. You know, she's she's carrying Izzy around a lot, so we're not 
focusing on anything that's going to make her compromise her upper back and that beautiful posture and stuff like that. So more pulling than pushing, but uh, this is Erin Carson. And I'm Marina Coffrey. And that's our upper body circuit.